Hey friends, this is Malki Asad and welcome to this special video in which I will share with you the best strategies to use the UWorld of the Step 1 or the Step 2 CK exam and 5 common mistakes that students make when using this amazing resource. The first one is should I use the UWorld in the tutor mode or the timed mode? So for those who are not familiar with these two concepts, tutor mode means you solve the question and then you see the explanation, you study the question and then you go to the next one. Timed mode, you would do a block 40 questions in one hour and then you see the explanation of these 40 questions. I highly recommend the timed mode and the reason for that is that the exam itself will be timed. You will have multiple blocks of 40 questions, each one is an hour. So why don't you prepare in the exam mode from the beginning and you would be practiced to do the exam style once you're done with the first round of UWorld. It's like practicing for a marathon. Does it make sense to run 100 meters when you're preparing for marathon or run long distance and increase that with time as the marathon time uh, comes by. So that's why I recommend you study UWorld in the timed mode because you will be practicing on the exam style from the beginning. Some might ask how can I study the explanation and see the answers if I'm doing it in the timed mode. I recommend you do one or two blocks a day based on how many questions you finish a day. So let's say you can finish studying 80 questions a day, you would do two blocks in the beginning of the day for two hours and then you would take the rest of the day to read the explanations, study the question, why did you answer this question wrong, how can you improve? So you would take the rest of the day to solve the questions into multiple hours as if you do for individual questions. The second point I want to talk about today is random questions versus system wise. And to be honest, this is a controversial topic because I don't think it's a mistake to do random questions from the beginning, but my preference is to do system wise. And the reason for that is when you're studying a topic, let's say cardiology, in my opinion, it makes more sense to study related topics and start connecting the dots. You see heart failure here, you see another heart failure and you start connecting the information from both questions. You see a related question about ischemia and then you go on with the systems as you advance in the question bank. Some might say, well, the exam itself in, is in the random mode and you were just suggesting to do it in the, uh, in the timed mode so we can get used to the exam. So why don't we study it in the random mode from the beginning? However, in my opinion, these are totally different concepts. Studying in the random mode, although it's similar to the exam, but it makes you lose the connection between the, the questions that are in the same system. And you would have so much time to do random style questions. You would have that when you're reviewing your world, you would have the time to do that when you're doing MBMEs, the sample, your self-assessment. So there is enough time to do the random type of questions. But in my opinion, as you are learning, as you are studying, it makes more sense to do it in a system way because in that way you would be able to connect the information together. Because as I stress throughout multiple videos in my channel, UWorld is a studying question bank. The purpose of UWorld is not to assess yourself, it's to study. So if you're studying in a system-wise manner, it helps you better connect the information in each system. The third point I want to talk about today is the explanation. So I see some student who finished 200, 300 questions a day from UWorld and I was, wow, that's amazing. How can you finish that? That's so fast. Because they're only reading the educational objective or they're using UWorld as an assessment tool and they just see if they got the question right or wrong. And in my opinion, that's not a correct approach, especially if you don't have good background about the topics you are studying. So some students are already amazingly good with from their medical school with the concepts tested in UWorld and they don't need UWorld. They're just doing it to make sure that they are uh, aware of the concepts tested on the exam. But if you are in different situations, especially for international medical graduates in which the school curriculum and school materials are different from what is tested on the exam, I don't recommend that approach. Again, if you're very confident of your medical knowledge and you studied in a school that prepares you for the USMLE style, you might be uh, fine studying only the education objective. However, if you studied, if you studied in a country outside the US or you're not 100% sure of the information tested on the exam, I recommend you read the explanation even of the questions you get right. The reason for that is sometimes they test you on the diagnosis in the UWorld question and you get the answer right, amazing. However, the explanation might include also the etiology. They might include uh, other diagnostic uh, tests. They might include the treatment and these concepts you might not be familiar with. So by reading the explanation, you might get exposed to ideas, information that you don't know and you would add it to your knowledge and you might be tested upon on that in the real exam. So don't think if I got the question right, that means I know everything about the topic. You know a portion of the diagnosis maybe in this question because this is what the question asked about. But the exam might ask you anything about this disease. 
So that's why I highly recommend you read the explanation so you increase your medical knowledge and you getting you would be getting a higher score on the exam, especially for the step two CK because now step one is gonna be pass fail, but step two CK will be a score and the score of step two CK will be very important. That's why you need to expand your knowledge as much as possible so you get a higher score. The fourth mistake I see students make when they're studying UWorld is that they don't look at the wrong choices. And in my opinion, that's a mistake, especially for questions that has multiple differential diagnosis. So looking at the wrong choice, they explain to you why this choice is wrong. And that might be the key to answering question on the exam. So if they give you multiple options and you were not sure between two or three, or maybe now you're sure because now you've just studied the material or you've solved a similar question, but on the real exam, you might be confused between two similar diagnoses that have similar presentation. So if you study and memorize and understand why this versus that and what differentiates diagnosis one from diagnosis two, treatment one from treatment two, you'd be able to solve more questions on the exam. So that's why I see value in the wrong choices. Not all wrong choices and the explanation for the wrong choices is helpful. Some of them are very helpful and can make the difference between you answering the question and not. Finally, I want to talk about notes. UWorld is expanding exponentially. Now there are almost 4,000 questions on the UWorld Step 2, almost 3,600 questions on the UWorld Step 1. So it's extremely challenging to repeat the whole question bank after you go through the first round. And I can see from multiple students, from me myself, it's very challenging to remember everything from the first round of studying. So you need some form of review so you can retain the information that you forgot. So in order to do that, you need some form of minimizing the number of information you have from 4,000 questions to smaller number that you can review easily. And there are multiple ways to take notes and create a review format. And I made a detailed video on how to take notes for step one, step two CK. But in this video, I'm gonna go briefly over the main concepts in that video. And the first one is try to avoid writing down notes because it takes so much time, it's not efficient. So maybe you can use another more efficient format to take notes and review the materials after you're done with the first round. So in your world now, there is a notebook in which you can copy paste information, text, images, tables to a notebook. And that notebook could be divided into subjects, for example, cardiology, physiology, immunology. So the information would be divided by the system or the subject that you want to study. And when you want to review it, you can just go directly to that part and review it. Another way of reviewing information from UWorld is flashcards. So you can create flashcards like the Anki flashcards, but through UWorld itself. So you would have the question, you can highlight it, and then you can take it to a flashcard and create your deck, your specific deck for the questions that you want to review. The flashcards and the notebook are mainly for the explanation. But what if you want to review specific questions? Because again, it might be challenging to review 4,000 questions after your first round. So what you can do is you can flag questions. So let's say you went through a question, you solved it right or wrong, you found it challenging, and you want to review it again. You can just flag it, and at the end of your first round, you can review only the flagged questions. So instead of reviewing 4,000 questions, you might flag 300, 500, based on how much you need, and then you can review only the flagged questions. So in summary, when you're studying UWorld, try to do it in the timed mode rather than the tutor mode. Personally, I prefer system-wise versus random questions. Understand the explanation even of the questions that you get right. Understand the wrong choices which can help you in differential diagnosis and create a format of note-taking so you can review the materials after you're done with your first round of UWorld. Before we end this video, if you're struggling with the biostatistics of the USMLE exams, make sure to check out my Biostatistics USMLE course, in which I cover in an interactive way the high yield concepts tested on the USMLE exams, multiple questions, multiple quizzes. There is a free lessons of the course, so you can check that out for free. And I have specific focus on the abstracts, which are challenging for so many students studying biostatistics for USMLE. If you have any questions about UWorld, USMLE, or any aspects related to the residency or, or the match, make sure to check out my website, The Match Guy. And if you have any questions related to this video, you can leave them in the comments below, or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Malki Asad or my Facebook page, Malki Asad MD. If you find any value in this video, make sure to hit the like button, click on the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel, and subscribe to the channel so you become part of this amazing YouTube community. Thank you everyone so much for watching again and see you in future videos. Peace.